Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about Commander Anthology Volume 2 and whether or not you should buy it. The answer, if you want to stop the video right now, is yes. It is very good value. The value is actually in the Atraxer deck. The Atraxer deck is easily over $100, although it is recent. The value for Commander's Anthology Volume 1 was actually mainly in the Kalia deck. You did get a foil Kalia, but you got the entire Kalia deck, which is one of the more valuable decks in Commander. So let's talk about what you can hope to get. So you have new borders. You can see that kind of fringe. It looks like a cat to me. Does that look like a cat to you guys with the little cat ears and the little head? Anyway, I, I do like it. Commander is a very interesting product. I remember I was in law school when it first came out. I had not played Magic all in college outside my freshman year, and it really got me excited to play Magic again and got me back into it. Now, Commander is a cash cow for Wizards of the Coast. However... I would much rather have Wizard of Coast make money from the product than the secondary market. A lot of these cards will like Gisela. I do love Gisela, but I told you not to buy her. Although many people said buy her when the price went up a little bit. Many people actually wore, uh, what's that? The sleeves or something. There's a card in that Gisela deck that is very expensive. And I said, nope, don't buy it. They will reprint it sometime in the future. And it is reprinted. So this is a great way to have kind of a historical reference for Magic the Gathering Commander. And I think it's fantastic. I love this product. Would I ever buy sealed Commander decks and hold on to them until they hit $100? No. Commander decks I view as singles, right? Do I know Filear will be reprinted? Yes. Can I predict exactly when? No. The same with these decks. If you value, if you want to invest in these decks and hold on to these commander decks and hope that they go up in price, they will go up in price. But given the fact that we know volume three, four, five, etc. will come along, not they're not going to go insane. So Atraxa, that is the deck that makes up the majority of the value from a, I mean, from everything, from singles to the actual deck itself. I could not find this deck in any Walmarts or Target, and most game shops, will, they were selling the deck for TCG mids or TCG highs to their customer base. So it was an MSRP. So finding this deck at MSRP, Atraxa was extremely difficult to do. So now is your chance to grab it for a relatively reasonable price. If your local game store is fair, uh, this will be a good deal for you. But if not, you can always go online and buy it. The anthology ones, for the most part, they're not super great sellers and they're around MSRP. Now, do I like the new... I like everything about the concept. Uh, Commander especially has cards in it that are outrageously expensive and need to be reprinted. Especially the cards like Dart Vessel, right? That common is insane. But here you see some of the other quality cards. You get so much value. And if you just wanted to play Eternal Format, you don't... I tell people don't buy Legacy. Don't buy into Legacy right now. It is a bubble. Now, yes, do I benefit from the bubble? Yes, I personally do. But I would not advise anyone to buy into it. I would not advise anyone to buy in Vintage because once you buy one piece, there's 59 other pieces, and now there's 15 other pieces for your sideboard. Once that 15, the main board is done. And depending on you know Vintage or Legacy, those pieces get outrageously expensive as opposed to EDH where some of the best cards... They're no good anywhere else. They're only good in this format. So I am very, very happy that this has happened. And if you, it's just a lot of value. 
I can't wait for the next few. Uh, these two were very strong because you got the Kalia and then you had the Atraxa. Those two, I mean, those two are very pricey. I kind of want to see what happens after they run out of the pricey decks. How are they going to do it? Are they going to foil out more of the deck? Or, I mean, here, to, I'm guessing to help sales, they changed the frame of the deck, which looks a lot better in my opinion, especially if that is your commander. So we're going to take a look at the deck list as well as the price to give you a approximation of just generally how much of a good deal. So I told you it was a good deal. Now we're going to talk about how much of a good deal it is and which particular decks actually have the most value, which is also kind of interesting to look at historically because Atraxa, that deck is fascinating. It's a standalone, incredibly valuable from single cards to entire deck concept. Now, Devout for Power, this is one of the original commander decks that took everything by storm. It's got your Factor Fiction, it has your Signets, which is always nice. I always add Oblivion Stone. That card used to be incredibly pricey because it was played in Tron, and it's nice to see it there. And of course, your Soul Ring. It's the Eternal Witness, which is worth some money. It's always, Eternal Witness, no matter how many times we printed, will always be worth some money. And you can see that the price is around $160 for the original sealed deck. I've always been of the opinion that these original decks, if you want them as a sealed item, I guess you pay more for it. But if you just want to play with it, you would never buy this over this product. This product costs less than this one, I think. So $160 already just for the commander, the Devout for Power, which isn't even the best deck. Uh, it's a good deck. Let's see how much Commander Anthologies 2 cost. I don't think it costs more than $160. Uh, price graph. Okay, the um, it is not out yet. I think it's a hundred, two hundred dollars, two hundred fifty dollars. Next, we have built from scratch. This is going to be a very, very uh, inexpensive one. Uh, it is something that I look at, and oh, it's a hun It's going to come out June eighth. Thirteen premium commanders, just like before. I think that's actually more, and it will be available June eighth. For a hundred and sixty four ninety nine, uh, built for this deck, uh, built from scratch, which was two thousand and fourteen, kind of a long time ago. It's only about forty dollars at the cheapest, right? So you got forty plus one sixty, you're already over two hundred dollars. MSRP is one sixty four ninety nine, which is just the the valve for power itself, without the new foils. Yeah, the uh, 2014 decks with the Planeswalkers, they generally did not do as well as they should have, uh, given the time as well as that, hey, there's Planeswalkers in them. I think the Planeswalkers were not strong enough. Uh, Wade into Battle. So this one is the one I'm talking about, Blade of Selves. Uh, Gisela, a lot of MTG Finite people were telling you to invest um anya i remember hearing somebody wanting to buy, buy into anya and urza's incubator there's a lot of good stuff in this deck and the deck when it came out it was the least valuable of the decks in its year but it eventually you know had very very strong singles like gisella like blade of cells and now it is about $74.99, 65 You add it to it, we're at $270 plus. And again, just the Devout for Power is enough reason to buy this deck if you want to play with it. Now, if you want to hold it for value, this that defeats the whole purpose of this concept, I guess. Uh, I, think, I love reprints, and I'm the biggest supporter of them, mainly because... Magic should grow, 
and I, I found my old collection, my very old collection from Unlimited. It doesn't have any Power 9 or um, lands. I'm sure that somebody trade baited me when I was much younger in elementary school, second grade. But I'll show it to you later this week. Now, Big Bat Atraxa. Not much I need to say about this one, except it is Atraxa. Head da heads down the one of the most strong commander built out and unique. I mean, it's strong and unique. Then that justifies its price. It alone is equivalent to $164.99. I don't even... We're going to take a look at the price. I don't remember what it was, but I would be surprised if it was not equal to... Yeah, so $250 at a minimal. So you're looking at $270, $250, for $164.99. And you get Atraxa. So like when you invest in singles, when you want to open the thing in singles you look at the you look at the one card if one card in the set is more valuable than the entire pre-con let's say the pre-con costs ten dollars but one of those cards is in the rat's nest desk deck uh rat's nest deck uh, if you guys know what i'm referring to um leave a comment below and if you know what card it was then yeah crack open it and then you make money right like mine seeds so this is a very, very impressive uh, value. It's like $520 of individual decks for only $164.99. Anyway, bye guys.